Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to do a drop test, also known as a measured dump on a Freedom 2. Before we get into this process, we need to go over some important things. We recommend using at least two people for this job. You'll need the appropriate personal protective equipment. That includes, but is not limited to, eye protection, safety gloves, and steel-toed footwear. You'll also need a method to weigh a large amount of salt, sand, or similar material. That includes, but is not limited to, a shovel, bucket, and bathroom scale combination, a truck scale, or a forklift scale. To run a drop test, your auger and spinner must be trimmed. If you do not know what this means, notify our tech support team and they will tell you what you need to do. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. Make sure that your gate height is set to the proper opening. Changing the gate height after the drop test will invalidate the calibration. Turn on your Freedom 2 device by pressing the lane knob. For the drop test, we need to give the device technician access. When you are at the home screen, hold the mode slash menu button for about 2 seconds. This will take you to the main menu. Tap on user level. Select technician from the drop down menu. Refer to your supervisor for your technician level password. My device is at factory default, so the password has not been set up yet. After you have inputted your password, tap OK. Select Feeder Setup. Next, select Calibration. The next thing you want to do is tap Measure Dump. First, we will cover the closed loop drop test. If your measured dump screen looks different, it is because you probably have an open loop system. In that case, skip this part of the video to the section about open loop systems. Engaging the spinner is not required. However, it is recommended that you engage it to a very low output in order to prevent material buildup that could clog the chute. Engaging the spinner will also simulate a more real-time application. Hit start. Slowly increase your spinner output until your spinner begins to turn. A colleague should be able to verify that the spinner is moving from a safe distance. If you want to prevent your material from spreading all over the place, it is important to keep the output percentage very low to not have it spinning too fast. Increase your feeder output until your auger begins to turn and material begins dumping. A colleague should be able to verify that the auger is moving from a very safe distance. It is okay to modify your feeder output during the test for closed loop systems. We recommend that you run the test at about 35-40%. to 40%. Let the test run for at least a minute. The longer you let the measured dump run, the more accurate your calibration will be. Once you have a sufficient amount of material to be weighed, you can hit stop on your Freedom 2. Now we will go over the open loop drop test. The open loop measured dump screen looks like this. Now when you hit start, your material will begin dumping at 100% auger speed. Engaging the spinner is not required. However, it is recommended that you engage it to a very low output in order to prevent material buildup that could clog the chute. Slowly increase your spinner output until your spinner begins to turn. A colleague should be able to verify that the spinner is moving from a safe distance. Keep the output percentage very low. 
Let the test run for at least a minute. The longer you let the measured dump run, the more accurate your calibration will be. Once you have a sufficient amount of material to be weighed, you can hit stop on your Freedom 2. Weigh the material dump using your chosen weighing method. If you are using a bucket, shovel, and scale method, first, record the weight of the empty bucket. Then, shovel the material into the bucket and record that weight. Subtract the weight of the empty bucket from that of the full bucket. Multiply that value by the total number of buckets to get the total weight of the dispensed material. For the truck scale method, weigh the truck before and after the drop test. If you subtract the two values, you will get the total weight of the material dumped. Be consistent by not switching drivers during the test or adding any unnecessary weight during the process. If you are dumping the material into a forklift scale, you should be able to read the weight of the dumped material. Finally, we have to input the total weight into the Freedom 2. After you have weighed your material, input the value in pounds into your Freedom 2 text box. Move the cursor using the left direction arrow to the appropriate number of digits. For example, if I weighed a total of 1,001 pounds, I will move the cursor to four digits and then input 1,001. Then hit save. Your measured dump has now been successfully calibrated. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.